In what might signal a significant advancement for electric vehicles, Toyota claims to have discovered a technological breakthrough that would allow it to halve the weight, size, and cost of batteries. The second biggest automaker in the world was already working on a plan to start producing vehicles by 2025 with cutting-edge solid-state batteries, which have advantages over liquid-based batteries. The Japanese business announced that it had made the material needed to build them simpler to produce, and it hailed the discovery as a major advancement that may significantly reduce charging periods and boost driving range. We aim to drastically change the situation where current batteries are too big, heavy, and expensive for both our liquid and our solid-state batteries, stated Keiji Kata, president of the Japanese automaker's Carbon Neutral Research and Development Center. We will try to halve all of these factors in terms of potential. Suppose Toyota's assertions were true, according to David Bailey, a professor of business economics at the University of Birmingham. In that case, it might be a turning point for the development of electric vehicles. It's challenging to scale up innovations that are often made at the prototype stage, he remarked. It could be a game changer, the holy grail of battery vehicles if it is a true breakthrough. According to Cater, the company has improved battery durability and thinks it can now produce a solid-state battery that can charge in less than 10 minutes and has a 745-mile range. As early as 2027, the business hopes to be able to produce solid-state batteries for use in electric cars, according to the Financial Times, which broke the story of Toyota's purported breakthrough. Solid-state batteries which promise to shorten charging periods, boost capacity, and lower the fire danger associated with lithium-ion batteries, which employ a liquid electrolyte, have been viewed by many as a potential game-changer for electric vehicles. However, the practical applicability of solid-state batteries has been limited due to their generally higher manufacturing costs and difficulty. Toyota stated that it thought it might streamline manufacturing, which may make solid-state batteries more straightforward to make than lithium-ion ones. In the market for electric vehicles, the Japanese automaker has been perceived as a bit of a laggard in comparison to competitors. It recalled 2,700 of its initial electric cars in June of last year, due to worries that the wheels would come off. The Advertising Standards Authority banned advertisements from Toyota and Hyundai last month for inflating the rate of electric car charging and misrepresenting the availability of rapid charging stations in the UK and Ireland to consumers. Solid-state batteries might be a game-changer for Toyota, which has lagged behind competitors in the release of electric vehicles, according to analysis. This would help Toyota catch up to Tesla. Since the corporation unveiled its solid-state battery proposal last month, Toyota shares have increased by 13%. Its chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, issued a warning, stating that the business did not necessarily view the technology as the ultimate solution for problems with batteries. Liquid-based batteries also have room for improvement, Nakajima stated. The value added to the car as a product and our ability to control the overall volume of batteries and their efficient use will ultimately determine the outcome of the EV battery competition. When it comes to electric vehicles, Paul Wati, manager of industry analysis at Auto Pacific, feels that Toyota is definitely on the conservative side, but it isn't always a negative thing for such a huge automaker. He declared, I believe they're hedging their bet. Many marketplaces around the world are developing at a various rate. The United States is adopting EVs more slowly than China and Europe, but other markets completely lack infrastructure. For a multinational car maker, it makes sense to approach powertrains diversely. Toyota outsold all other global automakers in 2021 with 10.5 million sales across 200 countries and regions, including affiliates Daihatsu Motors and Hino Motors. The second largest automaker in the world, Volkswagen, sold 9.8 million cars in 153 countries, while General Motors and its joint ventures sold 6.3 million cars, mostly in North America and Asia. Toyota has made significant investments in hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, including a second generation of the Mirai, in addition to hybrid and plug-in electric vehicles. Vehicles that run on hydrogen fuel cells function similarly to those that run on batteries, except they produce electricity from hydrogen and oxygen, with water vapor being their only output. They fill up with a nozzle nearly as fast as conventional gas and diesel cars do. That's all for now. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.